What's up everyone, Mysteriosity again appearing on your screens, this time today bringing you a report on something that happened in early October, October 7th to be exact, but it was actually hidden by the Brazilian government until the story was made public, though not in full detail of course, on October 20th. In a city called Peru, or however you say the name, this is allegedly the site of where a UFO landed. Some people are believing that this is from a UFO, some not so much, but today we're going to break down the whole story and of whatever I think of it. So in the morning of October 7, 2017, residents apparently saw a bright light and when they had looked out to see what it was, that is when this marking, whatever you want to call it, in this field was discovered. The marking measures 13 by 2 meters and as you can see, it does not look circular. It looks triangular in shape. You know the very first impression that came to my mind when I saw this picture was not a UFO but a footprint. This looks more like to me a footprint than uh, the mark of a UFO. Now it is way more likely that it was a UFO than a footprint because if this was a footprint of a creature then this creature would have no place to hide and especially considering this residents of Peru would have seen this creature when they looked out of this window. Now it is still not perfectly clear if this light that residents saw is connected to this marking in this vegetation field, although it can definitely be inferred that it is. So as soon as officials found out about this impression, this area was actually blocked off from civilian access. The officials said they did this to avoid agglomerations, which in case you don't know what that is, that would be crowds of curious onlookers. Officials blocked off this area so reach researchers can study this impression and not have to worry about civilians literally tramping, trampling the heck out of this thing. I can understand that. That to me isn't suspicious. What is suspicious to me is that why wasn't this reported sooner? Why was it reported only like 13 days after the incident had occurred? So continuing on, renowned UFO investigator Saga Suzilatin Sousa, sorry if I butchered that name, recently commented on this saying, quote unquote, we looked at it in the last few days and we already noticed that it was something that was not made by a human. It was a UFO really, that just landed there in circular movements. So the vegetation was just crumpled. So now Saga continued on saying that electricity Electricity went out in the neighborhood at the time of the sighting and those living close to the landing site reported nausea. That's definitely strange though that you know around the time of the sighting people felt nauseated. It might mean radiation you know because if you remember the Cash Landrum incident from the 80s all three witnesses reported nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and the like shortly after experiencing what many people call a legit UFO sighting and what they believe that they experienced a UFO on that particular night. So let's go back to the detail of this impression of the ground and as I said this is not symmetrical. What I think is that if this was a UFO I don't think it was a circular UFO but perhaps a triangular UFO, and this triangular UFO is also called an anti-gravity craft or TR-3B. And upon closer inspection, you will notice that the grass is lied flat down. And usually when grass is flattened like is shown in uh, the multi like is shown in these photographs, usually that would indicate something blowing on the ground. If it was something like, um, you know, oh, I don't know, say a container that all of a sudden landed on the grass. I mean, I feel it would be more messier. Now, granted, yes, this isn't perfectly flat, but still, you get what I'm saying. But with that being said, what do you think of this impression left in the ground? Do you think that this was a legitimate UFO landing or something else entirely? Hopefully, you don't think it's a gigantic footprint because, you know, then people would have seen this gigantic creature that the footprint is attached to. So that can, uh, so that can completely be ruled out. And also with the term UFOs, just so you guys know, whenever I hear the word UFO, I don't immediately think extraterrestrial. Because for all we know, a, a large majority of the UFO sightings that we've seen over the years, including Roswell and, uh, the Cash Landrum, and the aforementioned Cash Landrum incident, they could be part of a military experiment. They could be military craft. Maybe Roswell was just a military experiment gone wrong. Maybe 
Also, Cash Landrum was a military experiment gone wrong. So yeah, I like to think that UFO isn't just limited to extraterrestrials because it also could be something military related and something that the military doesn't want you to know about. If you have any mysterious footage, photo, or video that you captured on whatever kind of device, then send it to me via my email, which will be on the outro card at the end of this video or in the link in the description below. So comment, share, like, subscribe, show support, and I will return it by giving you guys the best content that I can possibly deliver. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, peace out!